at any progress at all if you're taking cold showers, you're doing a bunch of things that improve your testosterone, you're journaling. It's because, um, basically I was always using the same amount of time as I'm doing right now on bad habits. So for the past few months I've learned to improve, but I'm not using more time productively than I was few months ago. And it seems to go back, back into the habit of doing the um, things of the team to go back and watch uh, YouTube. And also still play a type of video games on my phone with my, with my dad. Um, but but uh, uh, I don't seem to get away from it. You still spend the same amount of time as you did before on video games, but now you do it by learning. No, no, I, I don't use as much time on video games. Yeah, yeah, I use the same amount of time coping. Um, and I, I sort of use it on the normal operator. I'm still coping, I'm listening to something, but it's still, it's still, it's, it's not going to give me anything about it. That's the problem. If I want to do the best instead of all of my business, I got, a, I got a plan, I've been thinking about for three months, researched it, how much money can I make, I've been everything, I got everything ready, but I just, I don't know what to do, I, I, I can't start it because I don't have the energy for it. So it feels like when you learn but you don't take action, it kind of feels like that's a waste of time, isn't it? I actually don't think it is. I've spoke to quite a few men who experienced the exact same stage that you did. It's what I call the self-improvement depression stage. And I was in it for about one year as well. It's where you learn, you watch the self-improvement videos, you know what to do. You just don't actually take action. And we think that this stage is a bad thing. And that's why we stay in it for longer. What's actually happening before you can take any action, you need to go and change those incorrect beliefs in your mind. Because there's so much BS that's been put into your mind from normal life from school and media and the way to live and the weakness that you see in the guys around you. For the guys who unfortunately have taken a lot of that belief inside, it actually takes a little while for those beliefs to slowly be destroyed and then updated and changed to then to the point that you get so agitated with the life that you're living that you really need to change. That's why I say that you're closer than you think you are because you're probably not that far away from that moment right now. And as soon as you start making some good progress, Vincent, I guarantee, you're going to look back to these months where you wasted time and it's going to click in your mind. I needed to be in that stage. Those three months, it wasn't actually a waste of time. I needed to experience that to finally go and take action. You want to change your life forever, don't you? What's a few months of slow progress? I mean, uh, I'm happy about the progress I've made, but the main problem is, is again the fact that I don't feel like I'm improving and I'm using more time to be proud of the day. And that's what kind of scares me because I'm scared of not being able to actually start my business off because I'm scared of the fact that I won't be able to use my time like that uh, correctly. So you know what you're feeling right now is a feeling of being constrained. There's the goal and there's something that's just stopping you from getting there. And you're right here. There's something blocking you. Right now this is annoying and it's upsetting and it's enraging. Soon this will be the best game you play ever. And you can't wait to wake up every single day to play this exact game. This is the game of, of manhood. There's something that we want. There's something that constrains us. We need to break through the constraints. Before we can do that, we need to stay around here, speak to the other guys, learn some things, do some push-ups, get stronger. Then we can break through when we have the right mindset and the right body to, to do this. 
for the first few stages, the first few constraints that you break out of, usually it's with quite a lot of negative energy. You don't enjoy this, do you? You don't enjoy this experience of not knowing what to do. Soon, this becomes the most fun game that you'll play. And you said you want to make it this in business. This is the game of business. In business, you can get to a, a level of income that, that you can deserve right now. And you'll stay here. And suddenly, you're there just below the constraints and most people will stay here. But if you want to get to that, that new goal, the new income, you have to break through the constraints. It's the exact start. Like the big thing that we've got right now, which is called Adonis School. It's like a private community. It's online and there's like lessons, there's teachers. You learn how to improve your sleep. You learn how to become productive. You learn how to make like a, um, how to make money online essentially, but not really like in the scammy way, but more like I teach you the wholesome way to make money, which is okay, grow a purposeful YouTube channel, social media, Twitter and stuff. First, we're gonna improve your productivity by improving your sleep. So we've got a sleep coach.